All right, so we're doing a foundation wear test today, and I'm going to be wearing the Lorac Professional, or no, not professional, I'm sorry, the Lorac Perfection Foundation in light beige. Now, I have worn this in a couple of videos, but I haven't like worn it for a long, long time and then come back and show you what it looks like. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Now, you guys have seen me do my foundation countless times. I personally like watching people do their foundation, but I know a lot of people think it's a waste of um, time, so that's why I'm speeding through it. But basically, I'm applying the foundation, my concealer, um, and all that jazz. And then at the end, I'm going to show you the final look before I go out. And then after that, I'm going to show you what it looked like after three hours. So I'm just going to be quiet now and let you watch me put my face on. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. Attention, girl, I know you, know you, but you're everything I want in life. Yeah. We're fighting danger like kung fu. kung fu. The love I feel is deep inside. The others don't matter. It's honestly us against the world. We're the perfect team. You're my dream, and I just want it. So this is the final look. The time is 10.42, if you guys can see that. And that's a picture of my baby. Isn't she cute? 
Either way, the time is 10.42. I'm going to go run some errands, go buy some clothes because nothing fits me right now. And I kind of want to look cute this summer. So um, I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry if you can hear the outdoors. I have my window open because it's nice, cool day outside. And for some reason, I am sweating. Okay, so it is now... 112. So I've only been wearing this foundation for about three hours and uh, it's a disappointment. So let me zoom you in so you can see this mess. All right, here we are. So right off the bat, do you see this? <laughs> do you see this? <laughs> do you see? So literally my face was melting. You can see it on this side too. My f foundation is almost completely gone right here. And in the middle of my forehead, almost completely gone. My under eyes always look like this. If you guys have any kind of suggestions on how to like prevent under eyes from getting like this, I have naturally dry under eyes. I also have bags, fine lines. I have it all. Um, let me know how you go about uh, preventing this from happening. Because sometimes I have good days, sometimes I have bad days. This was a bad day. Um, yeah. What else? Oh, also it is fallen. It has fallen into my fine lines. My lipstick looked good though. I ate and everything and it still looked good. Um, and it has kicked up around my nose, but that always happens. But my nose itself looks real good. My nose itself looks real good. A little shiny, but you know, whatever. But this right here, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so let's talk about it. So this could be, this could be this drippage, drainage, whatever you want to call it. Oh, you see all that too? Ugh. Okay, so this could be that Bare Minerals foundation stick that I use to contour. Um, it may not actually be the foundation itself. Now what happened here and here, I went clothes shopping today, which by the way, side note, TJ Maxx, I tore that shit up today. I had no idea it was so good, but then I'd seen Jeffree Star go to TJ Maxx, I've seen Tachi go to TJ Ma Maxx, some of the other YouTubers I follow have mentioned TJ Maxx or TK Maxx. I know um, Patricia Bright, she lives over She lives over the pond. Um, they have TK Maxx over there, and she was talking about how she tore that shit up. Look, I walk in there and I'm just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, you know, I'm picking out clothes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they have some really good stuff. Now, I am not a small woman. I am currently, I found this out today, I am currently a 1820. I have not been this big since I was, shit, I think 21. Um, granted, yes, I had a baby about a year ago, but damn. <laughs> so, um, so now I know what size I am. So I was going shopping at TJ Maxx and they had a lot of good sizes for I, I, I don't really consider myself a big woman. I consider myself curvy. <laughs> so for curvy women with big tatas that don't look like, like matronly stuff, my mind was blown. And they also have makeup. Blown. And they also have skincare. Look, let me tell you. I literally just made an order at an Estee Lauder um, order. You guys know I got my advanced night repair and um, I also use the eye cream, the Estee Lauder eye cream. Tell me why they had that shit like $40 off. I was like, <sighs> either way, now I have an excessive amount of skincare, but half of it I paid full price for, which I will never do again now that I have discovered TJ Maxx. But if you've never been to TJ Maxx, oh my God, get on it. It's amazing. Especially if you hate paying full price for stuff like I do, definitely check out your local TJ Maxx or online. I think they have an online store too. All right. Okay. Back to this foundation. So this could be that foundation stick. And uh, my foundation rubbed off here and here because I think I might have, you know, rubbed it when I was pulling a shirt on and off. So this is not super noticeable in the front of my head or right here, but this on the side is hella noticeable. 
Um, my cheeks still looked really good. As you saw, my nose still looks really good. So I think this might actually be that Bare Minerals foundation stick. So I am going to try this foundation again without that foundation stick. Maybe just use the, um, I also have, I have an Ulta foundation stick that I purchased and I, I didn't use that today. I used the Bare Minerals run. So I'm going to try that and see if it works. But, uh, yeah, besides that, uh, I would have to say this is a fail. I would have to say this is a fail. You all know I'm trying to find a dupe to my Estee Lauder Perfectionist Foundation because that stuff is like A+, plus, but it's also $50. So I ain't trying to spend $50 every time I need foundation. Um, so I'm on the hunt. I like this foundation. I like how it looked when I first put it on, and I love how it looks on my skin. But this, we got to figure out where, where that came from. So, um, yeah. Anyway guys, if you like this video, then please give me a big thumbs up and press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. And I hope to see you in the next video. Oh, and if you're curious what is on my lips, I actually have on the MAC, this is a little mini bullet that I got with a gift set. It's a matte lipstick in the shade No Faux Pas. And then I have this um, Sexy Mother Puck, Blah. Sexy Mother Pucker um, lip gloss in the shade Plum Sup. Plum Sup. And this is from Soap and Glory. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video.